Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast with Jane Rogers, where we discuss science to help prevent cognitive decline. The director of the UC Irvine Sleep and Cognition Lab and a professor of cognitive science is our guest today. Dr. Sarah Mednick says the number one thing we can do to prevent dementia is to go to bed at 9 p.m. That's early. But the earlier you get to sleep, the more slow wave sleep you get. And that's the restorative sleep you want. She calls it the down state and her book is the power of the down state. There's down states that you get into naturally during sleep. And then there's down states you can get into during waking as well. So if I just, if I wanted to start at the beginning of the day and say, okay, well, how can I, um, not only get into down states during the day, but also ensure that when I get to bed, I'll be able to get into a good down state at night. There's a Mm -hmm. whole bunch of things that we can be doing, um, including right when you wake up, you need to really spark that active, what I call the up state, which is the opposite of the down state. You need to spark the up state. You need to rev yourself up by giving yourself bright morning light. Um, That is a huge, light is a very important stimulator for your circadian rhythm, this internal clock that tells you when it's upstate, when it's downstate. The other thing you want to do is make sure that when you're um, thinking about your upstate day, how can you cram as much of the most um, energy dependent activities, the stuff that really drains your batteries, the stuff that really makes you think hard or makes you work out, either, you know, work out your cardiovascular system, also with eating, um, pump up your metabolism, um, use your brain uh, by heavy thinking, try to cram a lot of that stuff to the earlier part of the day. So you really want to kind of try to get as much of those active activities happening in the early morning up to midday. Because after midday, your brain starts to go, slowly starts to go into downstate mode. There's very important research that's coming out now showing that the sleep that you're getting, the amount of slow sleep that you get in your 40s and 50s can predict the onset of dementia and Alzheimer's in your 60s and 70s and 80s. Some people are like, oh my God, you're making me like have so much anxiety about my sleep that it's going to like, you know, create this problem with me in the future. But I think knowledge is power, right? If you know Mm -hmm. that how I'm sleeping in my 40s and 50s and 60s is impacting my future health, my future brain health in my 70s and 80s, you know, take care of whatever sleep disorder that you have. Go see a sleep doctor. Make sure you're Mm -hmm. going to sleep early. You know, don't spend the night watching, like I did last night, too much Netflix. And so you didn't actually get to sleep early. You know, it's it's a constant awareness of the fact that like every night we can do as much as we can for being feeling good the next day, but also for our future. 